All right, number 33. Um, dum dum dum. F of x equals 2x cubed. Minus 10x to the second. Thank you, Charmaine. Mm-hmm. Minus 71x. Minus 9. That little semicolon. Uh -huh. Nice. All right, so one of the zeros is 9. Okay. So if it gives me a zero, it also gives me a factor, right? That tells me that one of the factors is x minus 9. Wow. So, right? Yeah. x minus a zero is a factor. So if then I divide by 9, 2, negative 10, negative 71, and negative 9, mm -hmm. drop it, multiply it. I bet y'all couldn't factor these because they're not factorable. Well, I bet you had to use quadratic formula. That's what I was thinking. 8. Because it actually comes into quadratic. 1, 9, 0. So you get x times 9, x minus 9 times 2x squared plus 8x plus 1. And I know I tell you that's not going to factor because nothing multiplies to 2 but adds to 8. Yeah. Right. So if I have a quadratic equal to 0 that is not factorable, you put it in the quadratic. I can complete the square, but if I complete the square, I've got to divide everything by 2 and I'm going to end up with a fraction. Okay. So instead, I'm going to say opposite b plus minus square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a, which is 64 minus 8 is 56 over 4. Can you simplify 56? 4 and 14. 4 and 14. So that would be 2 root 14. Take a 2 out of everything. I'm out of room. Um, negative 4 plus or minus root 14 over 2. You could, but then if you wrote it like that, and I'm going to do it over here on this side, you would have to do negative 2 plus or minus the square root of 14 over 2. Because the, the 2 and the denominator has to go to both. Does that make sense? Anything else from your homework? Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do.